though many of us prepare to shelter in place during an emergency. And here at Preppers Paradigm, we think it's often the better option. There are also situations where staying at home could become more dangerous than leaving. Today, continuing our How to Bug Out series of videos, I'm going to talk about how to choose a bug out location to keep you and your family safe when you need to leave quickly. In this video, we'll explore what makes a good bug out location, how to identify one, and strategic considerations that could save your life in a crisis. Choosing a right location is more than just finding a beautiful escape. It's about practicality, security, and accessibility. Whether facing natural disasters, civil unrest, or other crises, having a strategically chosen bug out location can make all the difference. We believe that often, it's safer to bug in and shelter at your primary residence. However, when that becomes too dangerous, knowing when and where to evacuate can preserve your well-being and that of your family. Today's guide will cover everything from the basics of selecting a bug out location to the detailed considerations of security and legal issues. We'll provide you with the tools to make informed decisions that align with your personal survival strategy. Whether you're a seasoned prepper or just starting to plan for the unexpected, understanding how to choose your bug out location is a crucial step in your preparedness journey. If you enjoy our content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to ensure you don't miss future videos in our bug out series. A bug out location is a pre-designated safe spot where you and your family can retreat in times of major crises. This could be a cabin in the woods, a remote campsite, or even a hotel or friend's house in a less affected area if the disaster is localized. The purpose of having a bug out location is to provide a secure place to go when your primary residence is no longer safe due to natural disasters, civil unrest, or other emergencies that might threaten your immediate well-being. Choosing to bug out is not a decision taken lightly. It means that staying put could pose a greater danger to your life than the uncertainties of leaving. That's why having a well-prepped bug out location, equipped with necessary supplies and a solid plan, can be a lifesaver. Moreover, your bug out location should not be considered a last resort, but a key part of your emergency response strategy. It should be safe, sustainable, and prepared well in advance with essentials such as food, water, medical supplies, and possibly even ways to communicate with the outside world. The goal of a bug out location is to bridge the gap between crisis and safety. It's a place where you can support your family's needs independently when normal social or governmental structures may not be available to help. Think about what safety means to you and what you would need to survive independently for an extended period. Having a solid plan and a well-prepared location can make all the difference. Choosing the right bug out location is more than just picking a spot on the map. It requires careful consideration of several key factors to ensure your safety and sustainability if you ever need to evacuate. If you're bugging out to a hotel or a friend's house during a localized disaster, you don't need to put as much thought into choosing the location. In this section of the video, we're thinking more about remote bug out locations that you may want to plan for during or after a major disaster. First, consider the geographical stability of the area. Avoid locations prone to natural disasters like flood zones, earthquake hotspots, or areas susceptible to wildfires. Resource availability is next. Your bug out location should have access to fresh water, wood for fire, and land suitable for growing food or foraging. Being near a water source not only ensures hydration, but also provides opportunities for fishing or even hydropower. Accessibility is critical. The location should be reachable by multiple routes and modes of transport to avoid major traffic during mass evacuations. However, it should also be isolated enough to deter casual passersby and maintain privacy. Think about the distance. Ideally, your bug out location should be far enough to escape immediate dangers, but close enough that you can reach it on a single tank of gas from your primary residence. Bear in mind that you may not be able to travel there by road, depending on the nature of the disaster, so you need to have a plan to reach it on foot or maybe bike. Finally, consider the area's climate and environment. Make sure it's suitable for long-term survival, which includes having mild enough winters and manageable summers that won't require excessive energy to combat extreme temperatures. Selecting the right bug out location is a balance of many factors, each adding a layer of security and viability to your emergency plan. When selecting your bug out location, security should be a top priority. It's not just about escaping danger, it's about ensuring that once you arrive, you can stay safe and protected. Consider location with natural barriers, such as water bodies, mountains, or dense forests. These can serve as detourants to unwanted visitors and provide a natural defense against intrusion. Visibility is also crucial. You'll want to choose a spot that allows you to see anyone approaching without being easily spotted yourself. Elevated areas or places with a clear view of the surrounding terrain are ideal. Seclusion doesn't mean isolation. While being off the beaten path can reduce foot traffic, your bug out location should still be accessible enough for you to reach easily in an emergency. 
a balance between accessibility and privacy is key. Lastly, consider the local wildlife and environmental hazards. Areas prone to flooding or those with dangerous wildlife require additional planning to ensure your safety. Implementing these security measures can greatly increase your peace of mind and safety at your bug-out location. It's about making a safe haven that protects you not only from human threats but also from natural ones. Once you've selected your bug-out location, the next step is to ensure it's well-prepared and ready for any emergency. Effective prepping goes beyond just stocking up on supplies. It's about creating a sustainable and safe living space that can support you and your family for extended periods. How you prep your bug-out location depends on exactly what and where it is. If you own a property or a land in a remote area that you intend to use as a bug-out location, there is plenty you can do now to prepare. But even if you don't own anywhere, there are still things that you can do to prepare a bug-out location. Let's start with the basics, shelter, water, and food. If there is a building at your bug-out location, then shelter is not a problem. Otherwise, you may have to rely on tarps and tents in the short term after you bug out, until you're able to construct something more substantial. Ensure you have a reliable water source at or near your bug out location, whether it's a natural spring, a well, or stored rainwater. For food, consider both stored goods and renewable sources like a garden or small livestock. If you have a cabin or building, you could store food there, or prepare underground caches by sealing long shelf life food in strong, animal and waterproof food grade barrels and burying them. Security is also paramount. Plan your perimeter defenses and have plans in place for dealing with potential threats. This might include everything from wildlife to unauthorized human intruders. With careful planning, your bug out location can serve as a durable, dependable refuge in times of need. As we conclude our journey on selecting and preparing your bug out location, Let's recap the key insights and ensure you're equipped to make your location both a refuge and a resilient stronghold. Choosing the right bug out location is a cornerstone of your survival strategy. Don't forget that a bug out location doesn't always have to be remote, off grid or long term. If you're escaping a localized short term emergency, a hotel in a different area is a great bug out location. Grab your bug out bag and relax in comfort until the emergency is over. However, we all know there are some scenarios where a hotel won't do. For the more remote, wilderness bug out locations, everything from understanding geographical stability to assessing accessibility and security plays a crucial role in ensuring your safety in times of need. Whether you're just starting to plan or refining your existing preparations, always keep learning and adapting. The conditions around us are constantly changing, so too should our strategies to cope with them. Thank you for joining me in this detailed exploration of bug out locations. Your engagement and preparedness today will lay the foundation for a secure tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow preppers. Share your thoughts and any questions in the comments below. Let's keep this crucial conversation going. Until next time, this is Prepper's Paradigm, signing off.